All the time on Twitter or Reddit, the archives of wisdom, you'll see gamers referring to a game as dead. This term is useful for cases where the experience won't be great because there's no one to play the game with anymore. That's usually not how the term is actually used, though. It's almost always a hyperbolic proclamation of doom for a game that's very much still alive, intended to make the speaker seem like a prophet or an insider, someone who feels confident enough in their knowledge to make a bold, controversial statement. What it actually demonstrates most of the time is a lack of nuanced understanding. I've heard people call Fortnite dead. 231 million people play that game at some point in September. If that game is dead, very few have ever lived. If that were where it ended, I'd just roll my eyes and move on. But the problem is that saying stuff like this falsely convinces people that there's no one to play that game with. Even if the game is on the smaller side, if it's growing, it has a chance. And convincing someone the game is dead reduces its growth instead of increasing it. Given that it's almost never correct, and the only impact it can have on a game's community is to make it smaller, I'd just recommend never calling a game dead at all.